You've been fired. I'm sorry about that. But you had the sneaky suspicion that it was unjustified. So what do you do? What are your options? Do you have a legal case? Kristen Prince knows. She is a, an employment and a business attorney. Here's a scenario. I know my boss doesn't like me. Uh, maybe I was late a couple of times. I got fired. That's got to be an unjustified termination. Oh, Bill, that's unfair, but it's not unlawful. <laughs> In fact, actually, most states in the country have a rule called employment at will. You can leave any time, they can fire you at any time, for any reason. So but now, there has to be a line, obviously, there. We know that uh, for, uh, if you are being discriminated against, those are grounds. So what are the areas where uh, a termination is unjustified? Okay, well, the, uh, the uh, termination at will or employment at will, that's the baseline. Of course, you can't be discriminated against. You can't be retaliated against for coming. You know, if you report some accounting scandal, that's a whistleblower. Um, can't be fired for religious beliefs, race, national origin, um, any of those types of things. But even if the boss doesn't like you, absolutely unfair. But it's interesting that there is no protection there. Now, unions have those kinds of protections for their members, but most people who are middle and upper management don't have uh, union protection. Yeah, not only that, but we're moving so far away from having unions. I mean, most unions nowadays are in the public sector. Private sector, very few unions. But, you know, a lot of times it's uh, discrimination is more subversive. You can't tell right away. So if you do think that's the reason why your boss doesn't like you, document it early. Just like employers document when you do something wrong, you got to do the same to your employer. Now, does documentation meaning here's what my boss said to me, here's what he did? You just have a list of the kinds of things that you think are uh, infractions of that particular law? Uh, keep a record and go to HR too. Put it in writing to HR so that there's something in your file so that they know that you suspect something else is going on here. But it sounds like you would have probably a pretty rich conversation with an attorney because it is so difficult to really know. It is very difficult, and like I said, I mean, a lot of times prejudices, discrimination, it's not overt. Nobody, you know, very few times you have them actually say, hey, Bill, I don't like you because you're a man, you know, <laughs> or I, Kristen, I don't like you because you're a woman. That's just not as common. All right, so the key point here is if you think you're being set up to be fired, you've got to have a pretty good record of documentation as to uh, what the boss or the company was doing. Yeah, if you want to protect your job, take some action, put it in writing. Kristen Prince, thank you so much. Thank you, Bill.